Hey everyone, my Tesco brake machine, the BM1333, has just broken down and it's very likely that the belt has broken because the uh, motor seems to be running but the pedal doesn't work. So I've gone online and uh, bought a replacement belt which is supposed to be for this particular model, the BM1333. I have never opened the brake machine before. Uh, I believe it's going to be quite difficult, but let's uh, have a look and see. So I've got the replacement belt. I've got my Phillips screwdriver and also my small test pan screwdriver. And uh, we will have a look and see how this is being replaced. Okay, first things first. We'll remove the uh, brake basket. Okay. Um, from first looks, uh, there are... Uh, remember that I have not opened this before, 5 uh, Phillips screws, so I'm going to open this uh, 5 Phillips screws. Okay, I'm just going to pause and then um, I'll come back. Okay, so this is the last screw. So I've got the 5 screws up. Um, let's see. Okay, something is being held down still. Um, so it looks like there are like four tiny screws down here at the bottom. So let me remove that four tiny screws as well. Uh, this is also Phillips. Oh, that's it's a bit tight. Okay, so let me remove these four tiny screws at the bottom. And then I'll come back. So I've got out of four, the four tiny screws. Uh, it's a bit more mobile right now. Or at least this is. Okay, let me see if I can... Okay, so I've... Uh, the top plate is removable but there are two extra screws here so let me just remove this two extra screws I wonder if it's the same okay so these screws on the top are all the same so I can like mix them up okay so this plate should be able to be taken out let's see if that's the case or maybe not um, okay so this whole unit seems to be able to be taken out let me just take my okay let's see how this thing is right okay so all right so there's another screw here that needs to be removed that's also a phillips screw that's the problem about like uh, not been done this before and it's uh, useful to do like what I'm doing recording the video so I can go back and watch like same screw so all these six screws on the top are exactly the same or eight screws actually all right so this thing is openable oops okay so this uh, cover comes out there is a belt so let me um, Make sure there's actually a ribbon cable. Uh, let me see if I can like, remove this. Okay, make sure I don't damage anything. Oh, Alright, so this piece of cover can come out now. Let me move, put this aside. Okay, first let me remove this uh, cable. This ribbon cable from the control. Yes, it comes up. So this is the uh, control head uh, ribbon cable, which goes into this little white pot at the corner. So I'm gonna remove this. Okay, put that aside. Okay, it looks like a lot of electronics. Um, this thing is movable. It, uh, it's all connected to the electronics. So I think best I remove all these electronics. Um, okay, um, just making sure I get a photo of this. So this is the uh, white cable, brown cable, signal cable. Quite a lot of cables though. I just want to make sure that uh, <laughs> um, I don't mix anything up. Okay, uh, this is worrisome. But uh, let me let me mark this. Okay, 
and make sure I don't mix up um, there are one two three four five six seven oh dear um, let me go top left to bottom right top left to bottom right okay so let me mark this properly okay so let me mark this as a this is a okay that's for the motor i think okay so that's a and this one The brown one I'll mark as B. The brown one should be easy. There's only one brown. So B. And then there's a small one. This should be quite easy. Uh, there is no other small connector. This should be for the LEDs or something. I'll just mark this as uh, C. C. Okay, that's on the left hand side. On the right hand side, there's one small white color one. Um, which is okay let me do this um so i've got three of this uh top left to bottom right okay so let me just remove this d i i have a big propensity of uh, forgetting uh, which is which top left so i'm going to remove the corner one first or maybe not okay d then this is e <clears throat> okay this is e okay so this should be um except there's one more small cable which is sealed Maybe they don't want us to remove this. Let's see. Okay, that's the final small cable. I don't know why there is a solder. Let's see if I can. Alright, so the thing comes off. There are like six connectors here. I hope I don't forget where that thing goes to. Um Okay, I try I'm trying to not to remove things that I don't need to remove. Okay, that's the power so the power okay so that's the power connector so let me try to remove the power connector then that's the corner one okay so this is uh, the last one so this is power let me just mark this as P. P. power power P. P. okay that's the corner one for the power and there's a grounds let me remove the grounds uh, so let me just mark this as ground g okay in case i forget oh. is it still recording oh, it is still recording uh, it's a good practice to <laughs> keep marking because, uh, okay so my power is off all right what about this? This are I got a few screws that I need to remove. Okay, let's see how many screws there are. This is held down. Okay. Small screw. One long screw. Two long screws. Right, so this is uh i'll take some time i'm gonna pause so i've removed uh, six screws but there's one screw down here which is not accessible so i may need to remove the board first um there seems to be two screws on the board so let me remove these two screws i am removing a lot of things <laughs> um so two screws two smaller screws oops don't use that crap on the electronics board okay two screws on the electronics board so the board should come off 
let me see if I can uh, okay that screw that I dropped earlier okay somewhere down there okay oops oops maybe that's that I don't know um okay is it still recording yeah it is so i've got one more screw down there uh, let me put the electronics board aside like this not good but no choice let's uh, remove the last screw from the bottom okay okay so at the bottom there are seven screws hopefully this thing moves okay it's movable now uh just want to make sure that i don't like break anything on the electronics board okay let's see if i can remove this oops okay okay so if i uh, remove this this thing doesn't balance very well so let me just close the cover so it doesn't and the bottom it's nothing much except there's a lot of debris of uh, the belt let me close this thing back up the electronic board is soldered there's no connector it's soldered on so i'm gonna be careful not to like uh, break this and uh, i'm gonna turn this over yep so the belt is oops uh, got washers everywhere Gonna be careful that I tip so the belt is definitely broken clearly. Okay. Um okay. So the belt goes around this big one and this small one. Uh let's see if I can clean replace. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna try my best not to. This thing is molten and broken. There we go. This belt is oops, oops, okay, not good, not good. Okay, so this is the old broken belt. Let me see if I can switch over to wide angle or not. Okay, I'll just be careful with the electronics board. Okay, wide angle is a bit better. So this is the old belt. The new belt let's see um let me fit over this okay um don't know how i can like uh, i'm not going to tension this thing off i've got to somehow remove this okay one second let's see how i can remove this connector oh crap Is something I can remove? There seems to be a. Um, okay, I'm just going to be careful here. Just don't damage anything. Okay, I'm going to come back with a plier. Pause. Okay, let's see. Uh, because I need to remove this. Um, belt and this is side um, the wheel before I can replace the belt so let me see if I can do that um, okay so this is moving um, I guess if it's moving it's good Anyway, since we are here, um, the machine costs about 200 ringgits, about 50 US dollars, just under. The replacement belt that I got online, uh, of course, I don't think it's original. Uh, that is actually about 15 ringgits. That's about like 
350 US dollars. Okay, it's very tight now. But this is definitely coming out. Okay. Alright, so this uh, uh, bolt is uh, coming. I'm just going to make sure that I don't like break anything. Please? Okay, good. If it's coming out, it's good. Alright, okay. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Right, so now I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to be doing now. Um, okay, that's, that's me. Um, okay, so this is correct. There's a sleeve up here. So if there is a bolt, um, so I think the washer goes in like this. And then that's the spring loaded thing, which goes like this. Okay, that's fine. Let me take this thing out. Okay, that should be correct. I think. I think. Um, belt. Belt goes in like this. And it goes around the wheel. And let me put the wheel back in. Okay. Okay. So the wheel, I'm, I'm going to make sure I still get this onto the video. Okay, so this is uh, quite alright now. Alright, okay, there we go. Okay. Let's see if I can get this thing right. So the washer goes down. And the spring washer goes on top. And then the nut goes on top to lock it. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I got to like, do all of this to make sure that it's uh, tight. Let me just make sure. Just tighten it up. Okay, so that's okay. So that's replaced. Just going to be careful. I've got all this dirt everywhere. Let me just clean up the dirt first. I think. One second. Let me pause and clean up this dirt. Alright, um, let's zoom back in. Okay, uh, my. Let's see if it's still focused. Okay, so that's good. Um, now I need to put this thing back. Okay, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Oops, that's <laughs> me not being careful. Right there. Okay, just going to dangle the electronics a little bit. Let me just see if I can put this thing back like this. I'm gonna like fit this first. So I thought, oopsie, okay, make sure I don't do anything flimsy. There we go. We're gonna align this to in something like, like this and something like this. So everything should be sort of aligned a little bit more. There. Okay, so I've got all the screw points online. Okay, seems uh, quite alright. Okay, and this is uh, available, I think. Okay, I hope so. So let's put back the screws. Uh, there are 
seven screws at the bottom so i'm going to put back the seven screws now starting with the one that's below the electronics board i'm just going to screw in um, correctly Okay, so I'm going to pause and then, alright, that's my 7th screw that I'm putting in to lock the uh, base into the, the body of the machine. Uh, I don't think I need to be too tight because there are so many screws. Okay, uh, just make sure that this one is actually locked in. Alright, uh, next would be... Hopefully I don't forget um, the electronics board. Okay, let's make sure that um, so the br I remember that the brown one is here. Um, yep, yeah, so something like this. Right, but um, or was it like this? Okay, let me think about this again. Right, so something like this. Okay. Um, let's make sure that I'm not pinching any power cables. Okay, that's about right. Okay, that's about right. Let's screw in the uh, electronics board. Okay, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to screw in the electronic board and come. Okay, um, so now I need to reconnect all the cables. That should not be too difficult, I hope. Okay, so first I remember the power cable, um, which goes at the very corner. I think it's like this. Oh yeah, I got to like put in the ground first. Okay, I keep forgetting. Grounds. Uh, which is at the, actually at the bottom down here, which I've marked. Okay, grounds. Yeah. Okay, so the grounds goes in. Okay. Electric, uh, power. Okay, power goes in. Okay, and then we'll go one by one, okay? So this is A. A comes here. And then all this extra, extra, extra cable. Oh dear. Um, I wonder where all the cables went to. Uh, oh, that's on the control unit, okay. So this one is the small one. Which is uh, supposed to be here, I think. I wonder where all the other cables are. So there's only this cable. Well, it's, it's hard when you don't have the video, uh, which is still being recorded. Okay, let me 
this thing back in. Okay, this thing goes in like this. I don't know where the other cables are, it's probably there in the control unit. Okay, so whatever I can put in, all the cables are already here. Okay, next. Uh, next would be... Next would be this. Uh, oh dear. Okay, now I'm going to remove the electronics board again. Silly me. Okay, let me remove this again. Still being recorded. That is the problem about uh, first time doing anything. Always some mistakes. So near yet so far. Okay, electronics board off, and this should be like this, possibly. Right, there we go. Okay, then electronics board. Okay, I'll just move aside. Uh, Okay, so this could be wrong. Let me remove this. Okay, let me let me screw in the uh, <laughs> electronic board first. Then we'll figure out. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna screw in the board and then come back. All right, so I've uh, screwed in the uh, electronics board again because uh, I couldn't have fitted in this thing. Okay, now I am going to put this thing back as best I can. So, A, uh, the brown is B, so B goes in here. Okay, A, B, and then this is C, so I got confused. This one should be here. C, okay. Okay. And then D, which is here. Oops. D. And then E. Which is here. Okay, E, and then there was that small pin, which is, uh, I would think it's like this thing. Okay, so let me just make sure I push everything inside. Still recording, I am okay, and then I'll tighten in the basket. There are some things that have dropped off, I don't know where is it from. For this, okay, just gonna pause. 
Okay, the four screws are in, that's for the basket. I want to make sure that this is tight. Okay. And then I think would be the control. Okay, so the control, uh, it has to be done together, remember. So I've got to like uh, fit this here. Oh, actually maybe not. Let me plug in the ribbon cable. Like this. Okay, everything seems to be connected. I hope I connected it correctly. Okay. And this thing goes in like this, and then we will okay. Oh. okay, make sure, make sure it seems about right. Okay, and then this thing goes on top like this, I think. Well, I, I'm going to adjust this up. Okay, with a bit of prying, I got managed to uh, fit everything back. So I'm going to first uh, screw in these two corners first. That would hold the front and the uh, basket together. The screws are all the same on the top. And then one on the front. Just to get it in to start holding it before we tighten them. Okay. Oops. Just make sure I don't drop anything. Okay, so I'm gonna pause. Okay, so I've tightened all the screws. Okay. Now the moment of truth. Uh I know I've grounded, grounded it, so let me see if I can get some power oh dear. okay let me pause and get some power okay so i've got my power in let's see if this thing turns on okay okay so that turns on um let's see if it starts okay so can you see that that's actually turning now i'll just let it run for a little while Okay, everything seems to be working. Um, so let me go bake a bread and then... Uh, seems alright. Okay, just gonna stop this. Alright, so that was how difficult it was for a first timer to change a belt. Uh, the previous belt was like melted and... Uh, let me just show you the belt again. So the previous belt looks like almost like a fabric slash rubber slash whatever belt but it's broken and molten and uh, and so on so um hope you find this uh, video useful I mean, that's always a first time and um if this thing works properly properly uh 15 ringgit is quite worth it so okay enjoy and leave your comments if you tried this before see you in the next video